Hello Aquarius, this is Crystal Rose Insights here to do your March 2018 reading. First off, I want to thank each and every one of you for being here and for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, um, donating and getting readings from me. I just really want to acknowledge each and every single one of you that has been here on my channel um, during the time since I started it. And to those of you, if this is the first time you're finding me, I want to say welcome and I'm really glad that you're here and it is my hope and prayer that you get some really good messages coming through for you in this reading. So um, as you guys know, what I do in my work is I always use gemstones at the beginning of every reading and these are two stones this time. Usually it's just one, but this is a blue topaz and then this is an aquamarine and these are both very similar vibration stones in that they support you connecting to your higher truth. They help calm the emotional body. Um, this one helps with enhancing your psychic abilities as well as connecting to your spirit guides and the aquamarine is actually a stone that's the embodiment of the divine feminine empowered. It's a, such an incredible stone. It's also the birthstone of March which is what we're in and it's funny because I usually used to start with one and I think I was two readings in two signs into doing this month's readings when this stone was like, no, 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 you forgot something and made sure that I came to, um, made sure that it was here too. So I was like, all right, I just got that guidance to use both. So I did. And then today, cause I've been recording these videos over the last couple of days today, I ended up reading something this morning that says both of these stones together amplify divine feminine energy like crazy. So there you go. They didn't want it. She didn't want to be left out this little aquamarine. <laughs> so Actually, it's not a little one. It's a pretty big one. All right. So, Aquarius, let's see what's going on for you for March. So, um, this is a general reading, of course. So, as with all general readings, not everything is necessarily going to apply to you, and that's okay. Um, sometimes the general reading will dial right into your exact scenario like it's almost like a private reading and sometimes there's just more scattered messages throughout um, so take whatever message sounds like it's for you because it is and if it doesn't sound like it's meant for you then it's really intended for somebody else so the way to get some clarity um, is to do a private reading of course which I have the information down below I'd love to support you if you feel called to reach out to me for that I love doing my private readings Gets so in depth on the energies of a scenario and it's just so um, I find it really empowering to my clients to be able to get that information and to that just for that guidance so um, I've also called in my guides Archangel Michael Archangel Raphael and Gabriel to support this reading for the highest good of all so let's see what is happening with Aquarius this month We get the eight of water, the eight of earth, and the eight of air. Triple eights, guys. This is a very interesting energy right off the bat. That's eight is about abundance. Abundance, abundance, abundance. And and soulmate love really is the energy of eight. Um, but at the bottom of the deck, we're getting the five of air. So this is about... Um, making a decision, making an unwise decision. This is about learning everything you can from a situation. This is about looking at what's happening and checking in with everybody's motives. So this is a bit of a challenged energy. So I'm going to be, it's going to be interesting to see how this uh, reading uh, evolves because this is all about abundance here happening. The eights, um, and, but we're start, the theme of the reading is a five of air. So typically the fives are a challenging energy that's here to teach us some lessons that inevitably are for our higher good. And so very clearly right off the bat, we get the 888 energy. Okay. So let's see, let's see what we get here. Um, so coming into the month, this recent past here, we have the eight of water. This is about moving on from something. This is about looking for something more meaningful. This is about growth emotionally and spiritually, but this is an energy where it's like, there's, it's like something's missing. Okay. There's something in your life that's missing. It could be in relating to relationship because it is a water energy, but it also is, um, not necessarily relating to relationship. It could just be moving on from a situation 
moving on from a career path, a job, a place of live, like where you live. It's just something you're yearning for something more. It's like, you're a little bit like, okay, I, I, I'm, I want more. I want more. I want, want more something. I might not know what it is, but there's a yearning for something more and seeking something more. And the current energy here is this eight of earth. So it feels like as you've moved on from something here, you're now in the eight of earth energy in the present, which is, which is about, it's the apprentice energy. So this angel is out here with a stack of books, learning new skills. This could be an energy of going back to school. This is about learning everything you want to know about a topic. So it feels like if you're moving on for some, from something and you're wanting something more meaningful, you might be moving towards something where you're all of a sudden learning new skills, new ways of thinking, new, you know, maybe it's personal growth, maybe it's spiritual growth, maybe it's a new career path. Um, it could be in any number of things, but there is this energy of like embarking on something new in order to get good at it. And then what's also coming up here is this eight of air energy, which is the eight of swords, which is the illusion of being trapped. So this is the energy of like, you feel like you're stuck and you can't get out of the situation, but you have every power to get out of the situation. It also can indicate a lack of self-confidence. It could be you're afraid to take action. So it could be that something you're, whatever you're trying to learn a lot about, all of a sudden, as you get into it, you're just like, I don't know if I can actually do this, or I don't know if I can, you know, there's some energy there of where you're almost starting to doubt the, the, the fortitude you had to make this choice to move on from something, okay? Um, it's almost like, my soul is yearning to move on and to expand and to look for something more meaningful. And as I'm starting to do this, I might just be like, I don't know if I can. I don't know if this is worth it. It's almost like you're, it's an energy of second guessing yourself. And this energy, the five of air, is could be indicated unwise choice. So you may be moving on. You might start learning about something and just realize it's not quite a fit. Um, or you're afraid of it being the wrong choice. Okay, so it could be either one of those. So let's get some more information here, Aquarius, for what's happening with this. Let's get three more cards. I'm going to pull three more. And see what's coming through here. Yep. Yeah. Deceit, sixth chakra, and broken heart. So some of you, um, some of you are moving on from a relationship here that where there was some manipulation, there was no, someone wasn't being truthful. It's possible you weren't really being honest with yourself. It could be that someone was being dishonest with you, being manipulative. Um, it could mean a number of things, but there definitely, this is part of what's made you want to move on, look for something more meaningful. You're going to grow from this situation. Okay. Could be partnership, could be the challenge in a partnership. It it's, um, either way it's, again, it's in the past. It's like, it's in the recent past here. So there's something about the energy of deceit, uh, manipulation that's caused you to try to move on to something better that you're going to need to learn a lot about. And again, this could be your spiritual growth because this is the sixth chakra. So it feels like there's something that's happened that you're moving on from that's caused you to just go, what the heck is going on? And like, why did I choose that? What can I learn and what can I do to grow? And some of you might be really focused on your spiritual learning, your spiritual, it's like you might, and this might've opened up your eyes to a new spiritual um, awakening because the sixth chakra is all about connecting to your third eye, to your knowing, to, to trusting what you're seeing and understanding. And that's going to help you remain, uh, gain your stability, is to be able to start to trust your third eye messages that you're getting. Because it's like Metatron's looking over here at this guy or girl. I can't even tell if it's a guy or girl. It's relatively androgynous. And it's probably like that on purpose. It's just, I can't, the eyes of that card just, ugh. I don't like them. Um, but Metatron's looking over here like, yep, yeah, see, no more. No, you're not going to fall for deceit any longer, Aquarius. Because here we also have the energy of the broken heart. So this is heartbreak. This is healing from heartbreak. 
So this feels like either you are um, afraid to take action in terms of getting out of a situation, a relationship. Um, this could be that this energy of broken heart is, is turning around to where you're starting to move forward in a positive direction, but it could be that your fears are starting to have you question moving on, okay? Um, because as a, if it's a grieving process you're needing to go through, then um, sometimes you'll vacillate between feeling totally strong and then feeling totally not, right? Okay. I'm going to pull three more cards now from the soul. Let's see what your soul's lessons and um, purpose are here this month. Let's see what spirit wants you to know about all this. What are your soul's lessons in all of this right now? Face your adversaries. <laughs> Embrace your power. Beautiful. And begin to explore. Okay. Well, here you are. You're moving on from a... Uh, there's the energy in the past. It could be recent past. could be long ago. But there is this energy that you are... This is what's coming up for you to really heal and learn about right now. But this is about you finally standing up to the big evil beast that is your adversary. This could be within yourself. This could be with another person. Um, but this is just really about... Someone, some manipulative energy that you have finally stood up against. And um, Spirit's asking you to really learn everything you can from the situation. But it feels like your soul and your heart really knows it's the right thing to have moved on from it. And you're learning from it. So this process you're going through is about embracing your power. Understand how much you have the ability to be a powerful manifester. This is maybe you're even learning a lot about the law of attraction right now. Maybe this is something you're starting to discover. Your spiritual path. This is about owning your power as a divine being. You know, there's definitely, um, let me see. I'm actually going to read here from the book on this one what the soul's message is. So it's number three. So it says your soul's purpose right now is to elevate your power to a much higher conscious level by making it clear that your selections are the means by which you create. In other words, poor choices lead to poor creations, while good choices generate good creations, no exceptions. So your soul's lesson is to evaluate your previous decisions dispassionately, which have worked in your favor and which have not. And more importantly, what are you choosing today? Ponder that answer for a while and then start making choices that serve your true soul intentions. Which is why Metatron is here to say that this is what is important for you. So remain detached as you're reviewing why you made the choices you did. But this is embracing your power will be by connecting to Metatron's energy. As you're learning these lessons about what you've just been through. And then the begin to explore card is really just saying that it's okay to move on. Like, don't let the fear stop you from exploring new opportunities. This is really just about, um, this is the time for you to start. This is a similar energy, like begin to explore, discover new things, look at everything with wonder, learn about things. This is not, a, this is about getting out of your comfort zone, Aquarius. There's things that are wanting you to... Um, you know, explore your options. It doesn't mean you're making any commitments. You're not getting married. You're not, um, you're not like signing up uh, like a, a five-year cell phone contract that's going to stick you in there forever, make you pay millions of dollars to get out of it. No, this is just begin to explore. Like you can move forward cautiously, but with curiosity and just let and, and look at it as these are things that are coming to you to teach you some things to help you figure out what your soul is wanting right now. Let me see what the um, romance angels have to say for you <clears throat> for March. Because this isn't a love reading. This is a general reading. Although your theme does seem to really be about love. At least the, 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 the what I'm tuning into right now for those of you that this is that's for. But what do the romance angels have to say?
let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. So this is about going on this journey, beginning to explore. This is very much about, you don't have to understand everything. You don't have to control it. Cause when you're feeling, feeling fearful, like control is a way to alleviate the fear, but it doesn't alleviate it. It just quant like it just tightens it even more. It's grip on you even more. So this is asking you to just whatever's happening this month um, around love or what love means, if it's healing a past pattern, it's asking you to just try to let go, connect to your sixth chakra, begin to explore. Um, you know, this is the, the illusion of being trapped is a form of control. It's like you're, you're, you're afraid to go out and so you're pretending you're trapped, but you're not, okay? So I'm going to end this right now um, with a piece of advice from Archangel Michael. Now, um, this month I am doing the love readings for the Zodiac signs over on my Vimeo channel where we're doing the, um, the in-depth love for each sign over on Vimeo. So if you want to go check that out, the link is down below. And um, although this does feel very much like a love reading, a love themed reading for you, um, it'd be interesting, it'll be interesting to see when I film it, which I'm actually going to record next, to see if the same messages come through or like different aspects of the same scenario or if a totally different scenario comes in. So we'll see, we'll see what the common threads are for sure. Okay, let, Michael, what's your best advice for Aquarius right now as we wrap this up? New beginnings and fresh start. <laughs> yeah. New opportunities, new start, fresh start, um, helping me release and heal my past, fill me with trust as I experience these life changes. So Michael's very supporting of you with this new beginning, this leave, whatever you've just left. Um, again, could be career, could be romance. So there could be some career element here that is something that just Maybe you were part of a company that was doing some shady stuff and you just couldn't stand it anymore and you had to get out. Um, so this absolutely, these messages can apply to both career or love. So I'm just wanting to make sure I make that message here. But whatever you're doing that's new beginnings and a fresh start, the universe is really supporting you. All right, Aquarius, that is your reading for March. And um, if you want a private reading, do reach out to me. would love to support you. If you want to hop on over to Vimeo, check out. I have some additional special videos over there that I don't do over here on YouTube. Um, and in the meantime, I wish you the abundant love always. Bye.